Hello everyone, my name is Adredden, and today I am under the seas. Uh, at least as long as this thing is <laughs> not going to fly out of the water. It's a little bit janky from time to time. Um, yeah, so today we're going to go mining silver. Um, I've created myself an underground mine over there, built myself this uh, magic carpet, but I call this one the elevator because I've got a special script. You may see that these um, um, adjusters here are puffing away. This is controlling my yaw and pitch, and yeah, I've got a seat just because uh, I didn't have a remote control. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I spent a couple hours stuck uh, about a kilometer down, and now I am kind of ready to, um, yeah, go mining, uh, because I got this thing working, and uh, yeah, it's good. Anyhow, let's bring it down a little bit. It's pretty tricky to control. Um, yeah, I'm going to go show you, I'm going to bring it over there, uh, not flying it, because it's, well, you know, it's... A little bit crazy to fly. Well, let's try it. Plus, it auto levels now. I do have um, rusters on it. No, 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 no. Do not go up there. Do not go above the waves. Those land dwellers will get you. Yeah. Um. I guess I have these. Nope. No. No. Okay. I'm just going to walk it. It's way easier. Yeah, uh, so basically I'm just going to use the 7 tool and bring it over here. Oh, I also discovered... Because, uh, you know, no one told me. And I didn't do many tutorials. But I can just use the mouse wheel to move this thing like forward and back. Man, is that ever useful. Okay. So, um, down there is where I went mining, and I found some uh, Akinthite, which is the silver ore. Uh, it's the main reason why I did all this craziness you're about to see. It's um, basically I created myself a very, 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 very deep hole um, all the way down. Pretty much as straight as I could get it. Uh, I don't have, like, um, a very large mining radius you know it's a little I think it's one or two levels but it's not like enormous Hal uh, has got a lot more than I do he's widened up a couple holes so maybe next time he'll have to make the um, you know make the giant hole there we'll see how it goes yeah so basically one of the things I also need to do was uh, I need a way to get to and from the marketplace with this thing or from here over to our you know, uh, our group space over there. So I built this thing uh, over the last while. I haven't really been playing a ton. I mean, more than I kind of like to, but <laughs> not not a ton in terms of what I could have played in terms of getting things into the game. Anyways, basically wanted a, a ship that would have a bunch of cargo containers, but because this is an extra small core, it really only has one. And I will be making a bigger sh version of this thing, but like these engines are overkill, I think, for this. But, eh, well, we'll see. Anyhow, it's here. It can be fueled up. Uh, basically, it jumps out of the water and when it gets turned on. So I, I try to just sort of place it here somewhere. Anyhow, that's pretty much all I can really need to say. I just need to say that it's linked. And uh, let's try to use that thing. Uh, yeah, I got myself a fair bit of nitron, and now this is a questionable part here because apparently, you know, you used to be able to, not used to be able to, they still have the thing where you can go um, shrinkify or whatever, compactify, construct. Uh, where is that? There it is, construct, compactify. But I have too many engines. Boo. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. Now, I tried to make a blueprint of this uh, earlier, and one of them didn't work. So this is the new one. And um, I was having trouble, I think, with this command chair? I don't know. It was a bugger. Um, maybe this time what I'll try is to take that off and make another blueprint and go like that. So you know, maybe we'll put this guy up here 
and then the next one should pop up down here. Should be good. I also probably need to fuel this thing up because, yeah. Well, no, I need to uh, empty it. So yeah. Anyway, let's. Um, taking this thing down here is probably not the best use of your time because you can just fall down, down, down. We'll do that in a second here. Let me just take this off and um, we'll stop talking and just deal with whatever we, uh, you know, whatever problems we have. Okay, you created a blueprint from elevator. Perfect. So now I'm just going to dismantle it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know of a better way to do this yet. If you guys have a better way, once again, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm going to go from there. Okay, so lots of clicking and alt. And with that, that little guy is gone. Okay, double check. I just do not want to get down there again and not be linked to this thing, but I, I suspect that it's just a little bit too far from my range because I don't, I haven't really played around with it. Okay, and here we go. Get stuck probably on the sides a lot. Whoa, you would not be going this fast through water. Ah. Uh, nearly 200, yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> man, you would break. Oh, no. <gasps> Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Those voxel things are so weird. Like, I've had this happen a, almost a couple times <laughs> yeah, where I've just, like, slipped through voxels, especially in my base. It's kind of really bad. Um... Let's shrinkify this down. Let's keep that. Oh god, no. No, no, no. Get in there. Don't be falling down. You do not want to get all that. Because if, um, this here platform is designed to, um, launch up from, you'll see that later. And. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is going to thicken up the base there. Um, yeah. Also, I'm going to find the um, silver. Okay, so earlier on, I uh, did this. I placed this little marker down there. This is the tunnel that I came out of just now. And, yeah. Let's probably like dig straight down over to there. I'm just gonna dig a little bit because I just want the material, and I want this to be a little bit bigger because I don't want to have problems with this thing. So here's another little tip that I've been learning over this week was that you can use the um, auto dig, which is middle mouse button, boom, and you pretty much just set it go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just collect some sand and then I'm gonna go back and fix this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go fix that. So the next time I fall down it, it's not quite so scary, especially if uh, someone else from my org, you know, goes towards it and falls. This will bring me directly to that place. So you know, I'm going to cancel that, go back up here, fix that darned hole. Okay, well, I put a bunch of sand in there. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that works. So I'm going to turn off my collecting of this stuff here by turning on this um, keep non-precious ores because I don't need the sand. But if you need it, that's what you need to do. Uh, and when I drag it out of my inventory, this is going to delete it. I'm sure lots of you guys know this, but, you know, just I often uh, go through whatever game I'm playing uh, and just try to explain things. You know, just in case there's little tips and things that people don't know. I mean, I still am learning a lot, so people tell me things you know, fairly regularly, or I have to go and ask them. 
Uh, yeah, anyhow. Um, just gonna go down the hole here and get finding this thing here. Probably gonna give a bit of a time lapse because really, that's a bit of a distance away. Middle mouse button again, and oh, ooh, that's a bit bigger. Okay, here we go. Wow, that yeah, came really close. That just goes, does it? Interesting. This is still the auto mining. But it doesn't seem to unclick it. Just kind of keeps holding it. So I guess I'm just going to middle mouse button and... Yeah, didn't do anything. Ah, see, this is one of the things I really did not want. Because I am... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so far away, I can't actually use my linked container, but because I had it on at the same time as the linking, all the stuff from my elevator ended up in there. Oh boy. Alright guys, let's see if it's linked when I'm closer. Well, that's pretty much a disaster. Um, yeah. Let me figure some stuff out here. So I'm hoping that these are the ones that I, I did want. Right? And I, I did want those for this primary container advanced um, augmentation here. And so what I've got to do is just shift all this stuff up to the top of the list here. I wish I knew of a better way to make all these things move to the top, but you know, I just do not know how to make them be a top priority, but instead we just have to do all this really annoying dragging. Uh, at least let me know in the comments if you know a better way to do this, but I do not. But even if I do manage to do this, I pretty much am in trouble because I need to just wait till I train up these things and hopefully get linking access back to my container because I mean if you leave a territory and then you come back I think it automatically relinks you right I don't know if it'll do it though if I log off though Ooh, man <laughs> it's not looking good but I know you can get Oh, hey, look at that. Wheel mouse. Wow, it's a good thing I was not really paying attention and just sort of did it. Um, man, that's just made my life so much easier. Um, yeah, so we will see. If I log off and I come back, if it's any better, um, we'll see. Primary container optimization should be up there. So, I mean, this is already enough to take more time than I got. But, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just going to move them all up there. Okay, I moved all those things, and now my only other real option ooh, to get out of here would be to basically dig up. Uh, probably at around a 60 degree would get me my best chance of getting out of here. Um, But, yeah, I mean... It's so much quicker to do it, um, yeah, with the elevator to go up there. How dark that is up there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess what I'll do is just sort of train this up and wait uh, for my character to get a little bit better. If I can't do this, then I'll be back in a couple of days of my time. And, um, yeah, we'll figure out how not to do this again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, I guess it didn't really take that much time to get to someplace close enough to the surface. But, um, yeah, finally, 
my linked container is back up here. But apparently, it's only linked like a little ways. Um, <laughs> much, much less than I thought. Um, move to slot inventory. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I need all of these guys, but <laughs> just them all. I'll shift click one of those guys over. Anyways, I'm gonna move all this stuff out back to my inventory. Be right back. Alright, rechecking everything. This time I don't have my linked container on. This is all me. I click on this and then it brings up it relative to whatever container you have locked on. Because if you bring this up and then you go back over here, then you see that these aren't right. So you want this unlinked and then you want to check your numbers here. Right, so we go down and we've got one, one, ten, three, two, or whatever. We got what we need. Good. Now, um, I'm really not hopeful that it's going to stay linked at all. Um, yeah, basically it's, um, I'm only like 256 meters away from this thing. And that is not very far. That is not one kilometer. That is not 1.5 kilometers. That is very, very bad. <laughs> Just put it that way. Anyhow, I'm going to go back down, mine some stuff. Yeah, see? Look at that! Just like, boom. 250 is apparently the range. 260? Yeah. So, I'm not going to wait those days to get all of these skills here trained up, these container proficiencies. No. Um, I am just going to go with it. Um, yeah, I guess this is it. Yeah, 250 meters primary container range so yeah and I should also buy the, the last point of this one too um so that would be pretty nice to have I'll move that anyways I will see you guys down by the silver once again Wah! There we go. Alright. So, yeah, if you forget the um, tool that you need to have for putting down a blueprint is the this one. Blueprint Construction Deployment. You know, I forgot that I needed it, so kind of annoying, but boom. Not enough of the cockpit command. Which is annoying. Um, I really find that it's annoying that I have this guy here, and it doesn't register it for some reason. It's kind of kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad I partially outclevered something here. <laughs> After like all these goof ups. All right, let's uh, put the command seat on here. Uh, build I one boom. Hey, you. Get on there. Yeah, we'll take this guy back up to the surface later. Let's go get ourselves some silver. Oh, wait. The other thing we have to do is fuel it up. Maybe we'll do that now. But yeah, that's sort of the main point of me making this thing was that, uh, you know, I wanted to get up and down the, the whole thing pretty quickly. And so I'll probably iterate on it a little bit more, but I have made, made it sure that I had no way out. Uh, when I came down here, I just sort of dug straight down, and I needed to do it. Otherwise, I wasn't getting out easily. Um, which was a good motivator to get that code written. Um, anyways, that's all done. Let's just fill up with anthracite. We are, or acanthite. 
we don't really have a lot of space, but uh, things aren't working exactly how I expected. Um, so, and I don't, whatever, that's fine. It is what it is. We will, mining tool is unstable. We don't care. So this all here is so that we can get ourselves some uh, anti-gravity engines, I believe, from hell. I believe that's what our plan was. So we will try to get that done. I kind of want to move my entire, well, not maybe not my entire base, but I miss my moon, my sanctuary moon base. I really feel like it would be awesome to have it because um, I really did have a system of producing things going, and so now I'm I'm missing all that. Uh, so anyway, we'll get back to that at some point. I'm just going to mine until like I'm full, which it won't take very long. Okay, we're at our max capacity. I don't really know. I forget the number how much we scanned down in here, but yeah, you know, that's uh, a bunch of it. Um, well, hopefully, there's a lot more. That was 2,000 liters. I think there's maybe 10,000 more. I, I don't know. There's a lot. Okay, guys. So here we're going to use the elevator to go up <laughs> all the way back to the surface. I hope this works a lot better this time. I'm glad I have the blueprint now that kind of works better with the whole taking off the command chair. I hope I'm not overloaded. Of course, you know, I will optimize my mining so that I don't have to keep going up and down because that was just not very much fun. But yeah, obviously once I get that container linking range up, that'll help this a lot. All right, yeah, do this. Um, try to explain some of it. Okay, well, the might be a problem. Oh, we haven't run the script yet. Um, I configured this one to be in flying construct. Oh, uh, yes. And I'm going to need my special code, aren't I? Yeah, so we have to um, go control L and unit. And I will hopefully be able to share this code somewhere else. Basically what I did is I added some code right in here. It's not the best code. I didn't use this like PID stuff Which I need to learn a little bit more about um, But I will try to do that soon Basically I need to debug this thing um, It's taken a lot longer today than I would have liked right, so there's a second bit of code that um, I got some help with um, And basically it's just a function of that when the units starts it runs it basically adds it to the functions that are available to the um, thing and basically it's just something that gets the pitch so that I can use that it basically calculates the gravity direction the forward of the ship and the right of the ship and then just uh, figures out some stuff here just down in here uh, yeah it's some Simple-ish stuff, stuff that I had kind of, I, I don't program this kind of stuff every day, so, you know, these um, geometry things are a little bit rusty for me, so it was nice to get some help. I want to give a shout out to the uh, creators of the uh, DU Orbital HUD. Uh, it's under the Dementia GitHub repository, um, but it also brings us over to the... Um, dual universe open source initiative if you go through their discord they seem to be a really helpful group of people there quite knowledgeable about Lua code and how to program the you know the little bits and things you need to know about programming 
in specifically dual universe because otherwise you know you get a little bit bogged down with uh you know trying to figure out like oh well, where does this and that go right like things like i didn't know earlier today like they, you know just, just doing my own research that things like you know flush are the last thing that happens and that's where a bunch of this stuff for the ship control goes and uh, yeah anyway it's like so anyway those are great guys over there yeah go check them out yeah this is the pod right here i'm sure you've seen it on somebody else's stream or something it is looks pretty good um i have actually not used this one yet uh, i do plan on installing it it's just i'm busy doing other things uh i don't really do a lot of flying uh, in space yet i do that'll be coming up though because i have one ship a small ship capable of getting into space i'll go into that nothing as spectacular as some people's streams and stuff but it was one of my first you know attempts to learn about it so anyways soon that and then bigger ships but i think i'll probably end up just skipping over to like anti-grav because i think i can do that soon with the help of hal <laughs> so anyways let's try this out i hope this works apply Oof, man, have I broken the game? Maybe my antivirus is running and it's causing my brain rates to die? Hmm. Let me just try to fix this for us. Thing to compile. <laughs> and I got the frame rate up. I think what was happening was that the low script that I put in there, I didn't correct the spacing, and it was causing the whole thing to just really hate everything. Uh, but now it seems good, uh, and when I press F, hold it, um, basically I just get a warning that I'm too big boned, and that, yeah, basically it's trying to adjust for the, um, well now it's the roll, but it used to be the pitch. Um, yeah, so basically, I'm just got to wait until I can access my container up top, <laughs> or I'll probably actually run myself out. Um, this was never meant to be a heavy lifter for um, all the weight that I've got. It was meant to get me down and up, and I'm supposed to be linked to the container up top. So I'll come back. Uh, in a bit with uh, a little bit better container range. Hello guys, so here we are the next day. Been, um, 10 hours? Approximately? And now I can link my container. I can move this probably directly to link to container. Boom! <laughs> and I'll be so much lighter. Move to link container. So yeah, once again, I'm still at about a kilometer down. So now, um, in theory, I can just, you know, mine and mine and mine. Um, yeah, let's go take a look. Okay, so I'll have to wait probably another day or two to be able to directly mine the silver from where it is. But in theory, I could make runs back and forth. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just show going back up with the elevator. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. And of course, anything above this, you know, <laughs> this is like a kilometer down. All the, um, you know, tier, tier 1 and tier 2 minerals are pretty easy to get. Anyways, let's try this guy now. Alright. So go to external view, because it just makes it a little bit easier. We are full on fuel. Basically, it just slowly will rise up this way. I find that going about... 13, 14 kilometers per hour is pretty safe. What's going to happen is we're going to bump on the edges just because we can't drill a completely flat hole down. But you can see right now it's trying to adjust itself uh, against you know the vertex of gravity. Um, so yeah, we just hit up. And as long as we don't collide too much with these edges, we're fine. Um, and if I've got some air brakes on here, and these air brakes are pretty critical. It might even get a slightly bigger size, but what's happening is that they, if I bang onto the side, then I can hit the air brakes, which prevents me from tilting and then rolling up, 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 up. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could probably do this from this angle too. 
probably a little bit easier to view all the sides from up here. Here it's a uh, kind of a weird, a weird thing. <laughs> I don't know. I really wish you could change where you're looking. Anyways, let's speed up a little bit. But you can probably see I think I'm drifting to the right forward corner a little bit, and at some moment here we're gonna just collide with it, and then it'll tilt the whole ship. And then we got to do a correction. There it is. See, so hit the brake. And then the ship will level out. And you can tell it's leveled out because the little thrusters will do their little dance again. Uh, and then you can just hit the um, roll button to get back to the center. And you should hit your brakes. That way it'll stop you from moving forward. And then you need to wait till you level out again. Hit the space bar again so we can go up. Yeah, and you got to just make sure you do it slowly and controlled pretty much the whole time. If you try to do the yawing and stuff at this stage, you'll probably, like if you're going too fast, you'll launch yourself right into the other wall side. Oh, there we go. Now we level out. It's, it's very slow, but I think if I get a slightly larger um, there we go. Forward a smidge, break. Um, a larger drill radius. We'll be fine. Uh, yeah, we're leveled. Good. Push my luck a little bit here. We'll slow down a little bit as we go. But you can see, yeah, I'm already mm, a third of the way up. Whoa. And yeah, it's a slow process, but I mean, this is Mark 1 of this whole system. As you can see, you know, I've had a lot to work out. Seems like I keep on hitting towards the back, so we're gonna just do a little bit extra forward. Wait till we fully level, good, and give it. Right, well, I'm gonna keep doing this until I get um, a lot further up, and then we'll come back. I think we can see the top now. Barely. Oh! Now you can see the surface of water. I'll have to do one more quick correction here. Yep, see, if you don't press on the brakes, you get these weird oscillations. And it's just a bit of a bit of a problem. So here's the first chamber and then the, the surface. So let's hope that we can just keep going straight up and we're gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot right out of the water if I can. Wanna time it pretty good right now. Whee, <laughs> we did it. Yeah, so pretty much how this thing works. If you're interested, I can probably put in the description a link to some sort of repository for the code for this thing. Um. Yeah, the code's not that complex, really, so. Um, anyways, I'm going to mine a bunch of silver for us. That way we can use this elevator also to go straight up and down from, like, our hovercrafts if we wanted to. Um, I mean, it would probably also be great to put in a remote control and or a button that can control the um, mode that it's in. So you could have, like, a, a mode where it doesn't auto-level. But I don't know. This is pretty good. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about uh, Dual Universe or Seven Days to Die. Um, share with some friends if you think they might find this interesting. And yeah, I'll see you guys around the universe. Bye bye.